Hello, cool air, so it's Pablo here, and welcome back to Barca Universal. Barcelona have lost the Spanish Super Cup final. It's yet another tragic evening. It's this time 3-2 to Athletic Club de Bilbao. Another awful evening, so much to talk about, and just tragic all round. Another sad night to be a Barca fan. Another collapse. No trophies once more. This was our big night. This was a massive, massive game. And you know what? We've lost it. We've thrown it away. I am completely devastated. I'm heartbroken at this one. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are too. Furious, angry, whatever. Another awful evening. But let's of course start with Ronald Koeman's team selection. This is what he went for. This was the exact lineup I predicted slash wanted, I suppose, in the preview. Uh, we saw Dest come back in. We saw Messi come back in. Whether Messi was fully fit or not, we're not sure. Same as for Dest. He was brought off at halftime for Mingetha. But then I think you look at the, the two normal culprits in these sorts of games, Longley and especially there, Jordi Alaba, I suppose, who again, in these big moments when we really need them to defend, they just didn't do it once more. We'll be getting onto them later, but again, no way near good enough. And I think all around the team, to be fair, yes, those two, they stood out for me in terms of individual mistakes and just not doing well enough defensively. But right throughout that team, did we really give enough for a final where we needed a trophy? Did we really, really go for it? I'm not so sure whether that was inexperience. You know, we look at all around the team, not a lot of these guys have won trophies. So this would have been a massive night for them, but we just couldn't get over the line and we just didn't do it, guys. We, did, we weren't really up for it all night long. And there you go, it ends 3-2, and we go yet another season, it looks, unless we get a miraculous win, and maybe in the Copa del Rey or something, but even that looks unlikely, let's be honest with ourselves. It looks like we're going to go yet another season, trophy does. But let's kick start with that match action. Honestly, barely nothing happened in that first half. It just resembled the way we were all evening. Very slow, very sluggish. We didn't create enough. No way near enough, guys. We just didn't ever really test all nice Simon in goal. Uh, Athletic, again, you know, they didn't do too much either. I'd say they had the better of the first half, sure. But even they, you know, they weren't that inventive or anything as you'd expect. They were quite compact back, back there. I still feel... What Athletic do, and we said it in the preview, is they leave the space on the wings. We didn't exploit that enough. Thankfully, for our first goal of the game, which came through Griezmann, we did. And I don't know why we didn't do that anymore, really. It's Jordi Alba who gets in after a great ball from Messi. The pullback is well done by Alba to Messi. He gets his shot away, but it's well blocked, I believe, by uh, Yeray or, or Inigo Martinez coming in. But it falls to Griezmann, and he lashes it in. And it's euphoria for Barcelona. Euphoria for the Barcelona fans. We get a big goal here on the stroke of half-time, really. Just five minutes before the whistle would have blown when we hadn't been playing well at all. But that's massive. That's what you do in finals. If you're a big team, when it's not going well, you get a goal. And it's a big goal for Griezmann too for his career. You think this is what we signed him for. And he bloody well dispatches it. But literally 50 seconds later, Barcelona throw it away. And this was just symbolic of the evening here. It's again, just shambolic. You cannot go 1-0 up in a final where you don't deserve to be up. And then toss it away like we did here. Because I think it's Williams who just punts a rather aimlessly born, aimless ball into the front post. Or whoever it is from Athletic Club. They just dink it in there to run the six-yard box. And Longley doesn't head it. And then Alba, guys, as a fullback, as an experienced fullback, when you've got your player coming around the back... You watch him. He doesn't do any of that. Demarcos just waltzes in there and he prods it into the corner. A disaster of a goal to concede for Barcelona. More embarrassment and we go in at half-time 1-0, which is just disappointing. I thought already the half, like I mentioned, wasn't inspiring at all from Barcelona. Very slow, very out of ideas. No way near giving enough for a final that we need to win, that we needed this trophy. It was poor from Barcelona. But once we get 1-0 up, we've got a big goal from our star signing. And you know what? Alba, Longley, shocking defending, and we go in at one all. And in all truth, the second half wasn't that much different. I think, again, Barcelona was so slow and just did so little in terms of creating things. Messi had a free kick that went just wide of the post. He got it in between the wall. Other than that, not really much happened for Barcelona. Athletic Club actually retook the lead just 10 minutes into the second half. Again, a set piece. I'll be getting onto these a lot more later, but from Barcelona's point of view... When a ball comes into the box, we just cannot defend it. And you cannot be a professional football team, a Barcelona side, and be that exposed to set pieces. It's just out of order. Every time we gave away a set piece, I was thinking, oh god, no, we had our head in our hands. We were just praying it didn't go in. And nine times out of ten, guys, it bloody ended up in the back of our net. They kept on getting the ball in, and they scored from this one. Darrell Garcia is, honestly, centimetres offside, if that. Very tight. I think he is just off. They have to give it with VAR, of course, but he's barely offside. It has no real, you know, effect as to whether the ball is going to go in or not. If he just takes a step backwards, he's still going to score the header. So, Garcia, unmarked in the middle. He scores the goal. Atletico back in front, but VAR rules it out, and Barcelona are given a lifeline. 
And even after that goal, we weren't exactly doing too much. I thought when we got back in front of the game, which is, of course was a massive moment, again, we didn't really look that good at all. It was Dembele who came over to the left-hand side this time. He plays a good one too with Jordi Alba, quite similar to the one he actually played with Alba in our Copa del Rey game against Real Madrid, if you guys remember that one uh, not too long ago in the 2018-19 season. They have a good combination when they're doing that sort of one too. Alba gets to the byline. Another good pullback from him. He's very good at that, just not very good at defending, evidently. And it's Griezmann there, again, who scores. And it's a big moment, this, for Griezmann. A big moment for Barcelona, because it is about the 75th minute of the game. It's Griezmann to put us 2-1 up in a massive match for Barcelona, in a massive match for our season, and in the complexion of the football club. This was huge. Griezmann scores it. What a massive moment that is. And you're thinking, right, settle, simmer, get some changes on, mix some things up, really get some work that back there and just hold Athletic out. They're not the most creative team, so unless it's a set piece, they're not really going to score. We brought Pjanic on, we brought Braithwaite on, but guess what? We gave them a set piece. Stupid defending once more. When Barcelona had the trophy in their hands, it's the 88th minute, 89th minute. We literally had it, guys. And this is the most agonizing part of the evening for me. We were 2 1 up. We got two big goals from Griezmann. We weren't playing well, but we were there. We were defending decently well in our block. Pedri and the likes of Dembele and Griezmann, they were closing the ball down. But look, they run with Inaki Williams, Longley clumsy, stupid challenge, comes over and barges the Spanish striker down, and just a stupid position to give away a set piece in. You know we're bad at defending set pieces, but even the best teams at defending set pieces would get irritated when you're giving away a stupid free kick like this on the edge of the box. We're 2 one up in the 89th minute. They dink it in, and it's heartbreak. It's Via Libre who gets in there. He's just on side, and again, shocking defending. Every set piece, it ends up in the back of our net. Jordi Alba literally ducks at the front post as an experienced left back. Again, awful from him. No one marking Via Libre in the middle. He storms in there. A great finish on his left foot, but you know, he's six yards out. He's six yards out. Of course, he's going to finish it, and it goes to extra time. Heartbreak for Barcelona. Four minutes from the trophy but we toss it away. Stupid play, stupid football, stupid decision-making. So, so irritating, because this would have been massive for our players. We go into extra time, two all. Ah, oh, what a shame. And of course, once it's 2 all, you still can go out there and win the trophy. We could have made it 3-2 in extra time. But did you ever get that feeling that it was going to happen? After giving away the lead twice in such stupid circumstances, was anyone confident here? I think we can all say for ourselves, we weren't. We were unhappy with the performance. We were unhappy with the way we gave away the lead. And it's actually, actually Athletic, who within about five or three minutes, really, of, the, of extra time, they score an absolute bloody scream, and let's put it that way. And Yaki Williams, he cuts inside on his right foot outside the box, and he absolutely rifles it into that top corner. Right? It's a, an amazing goal. It's a goal Athol from Williams. And Athletic can't believe their eyes. Madithilion is literally stunned on the sidelines. And from then on, was, did you ever, really ever think Barcelona were going to get back in the game? We had a few half chances there. Griezmann with a volley on the back post. Again, we kept on trying to get the ball to Alba there. We had a few corners here and there, which we could have made something out. You saw... Nunez nearly headed into his own net, but again from Barcelona, even in the latter stages of the game when Athletic were just punting balls into the box, they nearly scored from them because with that bad at defending balls into the box and set pieces, really poor from Barcelona. We tossed everyone up for the you know the final minutes. We didn't get a goal. Messi himself even got sent off his first ever red card for Barcelona. How symbolic of the evening, eh? What a shambles, what a nightmare performance again, and what a sad performance, because we're angry here, look, I'm angry with the players, I'm angry with the performance, but at the end of the day, it is just sad, we can rinse into them, yes we can, but it's just getting tragic now, isn't it, we want some trophies, we want some life in our team, and this was a great chance to get it, when you're 2-1 up in the 89th minute, you thought, yeah, we're going to have a trophy tonight, we're going to be lifting something up. We're going to have some joy to go on for the rest of the season. We started 2021 well. The team was coming together, but it just never ends like that, does it? Another shame for Barcelona. Election is pushed back. Messi leaving? Perhaps. He looks furious. He was angry at the end there. I thought Athletic Club, by the way, all evening were very, very filthy. You know, they had a lot of nasty challenges in them. Not that it's an excuse, not one bit. That's why I've left it to the end here, but it is worth noting. Athletic were very, very rough in the challenges. For me, they shouldn't have ended the game with 10 men, with 11 men, sorry. Maybe not even 10, you know, if we're being fair with ourselves. A lot of silly challenges, a lot of rough challenges that should have been penalised by the referee, who, again, I thought had a poor match. But like I mentioned there, it's just all round for Barcelona. So, no, a really sad day for Ronald Koeman, for, these, for this set of players. This was massive, and we haven't got it. We haven't got our trophy, guys. We again leave trophyless, 
and it just leaves another debacle. And I hate when this happens, guys, because now what's going to happen in the next 10 days is everyone is upset. And that's the worst thing. What we've really enjoyed is these last few days where everyone's come together and everyone's been happy with what we've been seeing. And we're seeing improved performances from the players. But tonight, there was none of that. No one gave enough for me. The unexperienced players in a final, maybe, but... Look, I just think, other than Griezmann, who can really hold their head high up after that game? At Alho, maybe. Other than that, guys, wasn't enough from Barcelona. Right from minute one to, to 120 and right down to Messi's red card. It's just not good enough, guys, from the team. And again, no trophy. Will there be a trophy this season? Probably not. This was our best chance. This was a chance to get some confidence back, to rejuvenate the squad. And we've tossed it away. And it's really agonizing. It's pretty goddamn sad. And I'm sure you can all agree. But I probably will leave the video there, guys. I won't ruin your evenings anymore by just, you know, rambling on about nonsense. It's a sad evening, like I've num said numerous times now. Um, I'm gutted. I'm distraught. I'm devastated at what we've just seen out there. I really wanted this trophy. It was massive to me. I'm sure it was massive to the players and you guys as fans too, of course. You know, we're all here for the same thing. We want to see Barcelona doing well. And this was a big night for that. Having Griezmann on the score sheet twice there. What a big moment for his Barcelona career. But we just, we didn't play well enough, honestly. We really didn't. Um, an athletic club get their trophy. Stupid Barcelona. Really, really annoying. Really, really poor. And you are just hoping now that Laporta comes in, I suppose. Whenever that may be with these annoying delayed elections, which is another real kick in the teeth. You just want something good for Barcelona. It just doesn't seem like it's going to be happening, does it? Um, but yeah, that's where I'm going to end it, guys. I will spare you. And we'll be back very soon. We've got the Copa del Rey next. We've got a tough away again to Cornea. So if we want to be winning a trophy, that's our best shot at it. So I suppose we've got to pick ourselves up, go again, and see if we can win that one. I'll see you guys for the match preview. Unless there's some big news, which there probably will be um, in between this and the next game. Because there's going to be a lot of reports. A lot of people with, who are going to have things to say about this game. These were just my raw reactions. So again, if I've missed anything, I do apologise. But le let me know what you guys think down below for what was another tragic evening. And I will not leave it there. Goodbye.